What's going on, guys? Ovi back here again with another episode of Road to Sub 20. Before we get to the Q&A, just a couple quick things. First, make sure you enter the giveaway. It's completely free. We're giving away three GAN 12s. Check the description on that. Second, I decided instead of doing averages of 10, I'm going to go ahead and do averages of 12 because then it pops up on my screen and you guys are able to see that. Anyway, that's really small. But we had a really good average today. Um, we are slowly, slowly losing time on a rate of around half a second every single week, which isn't a lot, but that's going to continue to add up very quickly. But let's go ahead and get into the Q&A. Shinju533 had a couple questions here. First, he says, if you make a cube company, what's going to be its name? Um, and what type of cubes would your company have? Um, I think... I don't know if I ever will, but that's pretty interesting that he brings that up. I think it would be called like OV or something. I think that's kind of cool. Um, and then throw back to this channel with that. And then what kind of cubes would I have? So that's kind of loaded. But I think if I had a company like that, I'd make budget three by threes that were actually pretty dang good. Um, I just get so mad because you already know GAN, their cubes do not cost 80 or $90 to make. They probably cost 10 to $15 to make. And then they're just charging all this money. So I think that's kind of a scam. And I want to offer budget good cubes, if you know what I mean. Um, he also asked, how do you get the idea of your channel name as Opulent Vision? I was like, it sounds cool. And I just kind of put it in and went with it. Nothing, uh, nothing too big behind the story with that. Um, and then what was your reaction when you first solved the 3 by 3 um, I don't know if I had much of a reaction, but I have a pretty photographic memory of where I was, what I was doing when I figured it out. Um, I was probably more surprised than anything because, I mean, when you solve it your first time and you're using the beginner's method, um, you just kind of repeat the same like PLL algorithms over and over again. I remember I was doing it for like 30 or 40 minutes and could, couldn't get it to like solve itself. So I'm sure when I did get it, I was probably pretty uh, surprised, if you know what I mean. Next question from RD Cubing. He asks, would you consider getting good or trying Skube and 2x2? Two two? Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but my last unboxing, so the one before this most recent one, I guess, I did get a new Skube, and I think it was the Maylong series Skube. I don't know if that's right, so don't come at me too hard in the comments, but I learned doing that the beginner method, and it was actually really fun, but it was really weird to turn coming from only solving cubic puzzles my whole life. Um, I mean, I guess that is a cubic puzzle, but it was just really odd to me. So maybe one day I'd learn like a quicker method to solve it. Um, and then again, regarding two by two, I kind of touched on this in... Well, I guess a couple episodes ago, but I'd really want to learn Ort Ortega. I think that's going to be one of my yearly goals. So we'll see what happens with that. Victor Cuber, this is the first time I've seen him on the channel. Maybe he's been around longer, but he asks, have you ever been to another country? Um, yes, I've been to Mexico two times, which is pretty far away. Um, I'm in the middle of the United States, so it's a pretty long like flight or drive, whatever you're doing. Um, this is kind of interesting and kind of a side note, but I saw a TikTok the other day talking about like people in European countries, they only got to drive like 30 to 45 minutes to be in another country. So I guess it makes sense for everybody to have like passports, um, which I thought is really interesting because I guess looking at like where I'm at, I'd have to drive for like two or three hours just to get to another state let alone another country, that would be like, man, that'd be like 30 or 40 hours of driving to get to like another country out of where I am. And I think it's just because like the United States is such a huge place, especially when I live like right in the middle of it. I don't know. So I guess not a lot of people here have passports, which was really interesting to me. Maybe that's news to uh, a lot of European fans because I know like 70% are overseas from where I am. Uh, just looking at like analytics and stuff, but just thought that was cool. Um, pretty interesting. So guys, let me know in the comments, have you guys ever been to another country or countries? And if so, where have you been? I'm curious, very curious. All right. And then the next question coming in from Boat Xbox. I don't know if that's right because there's like a random three in the name. Uh, he had two questions for me today. He says, number one, what is your favorite type of Rubik's Cube? 
Um, I'm going to go with like the generic answer. I really like the three by three. It's the most fun to solve. And it's very impressive. Like when other people watch you, like be good at it and stuff. Um, I think if we're not counting like normal WCA puzzles, uh, I'd have to say like shape mods are some of my favorite. I know that's kind of broad, but I mean, I just got the ready cube. If you guys saw the unboxing from last Saturday, I am really enjoying solving that thing. That's a lot of fun. And then I love like the banana puzzle, like the apple, the lemon, all of that. I think those are a blast to solve. So those are some of my favorite cubes. And then he also asked, what is your favorite game? If we're talking board games, I love Monopoly. I am so good at it. So if any of you guys want to have a competition, just let me know. Um, but if we're talking video games, I've been playing a lot of Helldivers, which is quite a bit of fun to me. So um, doing a little bit of that. I know some of you guys were like looking at my, um, oh, it's like my Discord is connected to my PS5. So some of you guys can see that I'm playing that all the time, which is really funny, um, especially because you guys are calling me out on that. Anyway, we have a next question from Abraham7824. He says, do you like the Xenoblade Chronicles? Um, I'm going to be blatantly honest. I know nothing about the Xenoblade Chronicles, so um, I'm sure it's great. All right, next question from FZ Cubing. He says, can you tell me about your bigger Lego sets, like the UCS sets? Um, and he says, just tell me an overview because I'm really interested um, I don't know if you guys know, but I've had quite a few like bigger Lego sets in some of my videos. Um, and there's a reason why those are in my videos. If you're a YouTuber, you'll probably know, but I'll let you guys speculate. Um, I've got quite a few sets. I think like if we're talking UCS, like Star Wars, um, I guess let me specify. I've got a Batman UCS. I think it's like the 1972 Batmobile, which is an awesome set. If you guys can get your hands on that, highly, highly recommend. Um, but I've got two UCS Star Wars sets. I've got the, I think it's like the 2017 Millennium Falcon, which is like 5,000 pieces. And then I have the UCS AT-AT, which I love that thing. That thing is awesome. It looks really cool. It's super tall. Um, just a cool all-around set. Um, so, yeah, but I guess... Um, if I was between the two, I'd probably choose the Millennium Falcon just because it's more of like an iconic ship. And the set, like the the UCS at, -AT is pretty tall, but the Millennium Falcon is super wide and super long. So I've got it sitting on a coffee table and it just takes up the whole thing and it is absolutely awesome. And if you guys didn't see in the background here, I am solving the lemon cube today as like our little challenge. So if you guys have any other challenges you want me to do, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Um, I've done quite a few in the last episodes and I'm kind of running out of ideas. So definitely let me know. Um, and I am always reading you guys' comments about how to improve. So if you guys saw anything in my solves that um, I could get better at, again, let me know. Um, this week, I'll probably be working on F2L next week. But... With that being said, I appreciate you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.